Hi friend, welcome to CG video tutorial. My name is Shant and thanks for finding me. In this video tutorial, I'm going to share you how to create this cartoony like scene uh, using Blender. So uh, let's go how to create it. So the this is my existing file. This is the model, 3D model. This is the 3D model. I have modeled it. Yeah. For modeling the tree, you go, uh, you add a spear or model a chimney you add a cube uh, for modeling a roof uh, you may use a plane for I hope uh, you are existing user of blender so you know you know better how to add and how to model the scene this is the main in the scene but the main object this is a house tree fence uh, the moon it is a realistic moon uh, just uh, just um, adding a spear if you are really a new user so go to the youtube video and how to model the basic house you may learn from youtube this is not a uh, uh, modeling tutorial just uh, this time uh, i'm going to show you how to model a Chimney, just share your basic knowledge. Just shift S, just focus your uh, eyes just here. So, uh, just shift here. So, grab your cursor in center, uh, add, add here. This is the press one to uh, front view and press five to perspective view and ortho view so uh, just uh, press tab go to the edit mode or you directly go to edit mode here uh, press Z uh, to warfare mode uh, be selected press B uh, go to the top view object mode press selected mode and E for extrude go to the font view wireframe mode ok this is S, press S, S to scale again E to extrude and grab it down uh, this is like uh, chimney ok this is chimney for uh, add a modifier go to here and uh, Bevel. Bevel. Okay, 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 okay. One zero zero three. One zero eight. Okay, change the segment six. Okay, uh, signal light. Okay, so this uh, this uh, video is not a modeling video. So so this time I'm going to share you how to create this. Uh, 
just a realistic cartoon scene and in the uh, blue cast in full moon night so at first go add a camera from here we may add the camera from here I may add a camera and go to the X resolution 2071 and Y, and y resolution 888 go to the camera panel and just focal length 28 and just go to the depth of field uh, section change the radius from its stop and uh, number 5.6 uh, leave the default setting okay and now see how to now i am going to using a node editor so the at first uh, change your uh, render engine from the cycle render from blender uh, blender render it is a default uh, render or like a scanline render i uh, just go to the node editor and just go to it is a to the work panel okay this is the background change the strength 4 uh, add a mix mix shader mix rgb uh, this is the sky uh, sky sky texture and chain and grab it chains uh, just change the turbidity uh, not change the turbidity okay and add a RGB shift A to add anything in the node editor to RGB Mix the two node in the mix the RGB and the change motor in my multiply, or you can uh, press T to add. You can add anything texture coordinate, uh, attribute, output, world output. This is the world output, this is the world output shader mix shader uh, this is the mix shader or uh, you can go and use the mix shader from here or you can uh, for shortcut process push shift a then push s and type anything in the tool or you can directly go from here or press t left panel click the any bottom that you need okay this is the world shader so now object shader click here first choose the moon Go to the property panel. There is the moon shader. Uh, is the image texture and add a curve editor, curve node, RGB curve, and just change the curve. Add a emission. Uh, we uh, we use the 
this image in the moon object okay this is the emission and change the strength emission strength 20 so I did so add this object so go to the chimney This system has a uh, dual boot. Uh, I'm using a Windows or Ubuntu Studio in the same time. So when I use a Ubuntu Studio, it uh, it may run very very fast than Windows Seven. That's Windows Seven. You may you can see my other tutorial. It may very fast uh, in Ubuntu Studio. When I using a uh, Windows 7, hit me very slow. It's very, very, very really slow. Uh, uh, first, add a mix shader. Glossy. Then add a mix shader. Then add a diffuse. Just to Diffuse there is the dark color and is a very light color and gradient texture so like a gradient texture and then you can add a mapping and coordinate to zener generated. This is the ma uh, main sh uh, shading of cartoony like object. First, add a mix shader. Then add a Fresnel. Uh, this pronunciation is a Fresnel. This, is a Fresnel. this change the IOR to. Then add a glossy. Leave the default color. Add a, uh, uh, when add, you add a diffuse VSD, just change the color. And, uh, just red. And change the glossy roughness 0.2. This is the roof shader, so I did and B just add a mix shader, add a Fresnel diffuse uh, glossy that change the roughness point four and uh, the mode to big man add a color ramp add a color ramp Add fish. Let's just type the color ram. Auto linear. Just change the color. Change the color. Put it here. And change the color in light. Okay, change the color. This in this process uh, add any node that you need to make a shader and then for <coughs> road. Not a peach dark, just add a mix shader, then add a glossy shader, roughness 0.2, add a Fresnel, and just I will, uh, leave the IOL, just diffuse color, change the diffuse color, just dark black. So 
hide, hide this. Fencing. It's a very, very easy shader. Just add a mix shader. Add a Fresnel and diffuse. Change the color, diffuse color. Just not pure green, bring green or gray shader. And add a glossy BSDF. Change the reference point three zero. Okay, add it. Now adding a light, add a sun, uh, just change the color, change the color R.492, just bluish color, and stand 8, and size point zero to zero, and add a light. Fill light and change to emission. Just add emission and go to the property panel. Go to the cycle settings uh, section and uncheck camera, uncheck glossy, uncheck volume scatter. This is spotlight. I'm gonna add the spotlight from here. We add the spotlight. Spotlight. Go to the property section. The spotlight. Just click here to show cone. To uncheck. This is spotlight. This change the color. Strain 3000 to the check the show cone to then see the cone. Uh, just change the setting size with 5 degree. Uh, all of this same, same strain, same color. And I go to the ground, is the same round texture okay now go to the render setting and press 0 to camera view and alt h to unhide all the object that I hide uh, this is the final image. The uh, this is the emission pass. This is uh, image after compositing. This image uh, was the original original rendering uh, or original the image uh, after rendering. This is the alpha pass. Okay, for make a pass, go to the render layer panel, check the combine Z, glossy direct, check the emission, check the environment, you can add any pass that you need. Uh, in the scene, just uh, we need is uh, just glossy emission environment, comma uh, and Z pass. So under setting uh, resolution two zero seven one uh, eight eight eight. That I will save that early in this tutorial. Uh, so. Format 
when you uh, if you uh, create a movie so you can use the uh, open excel or targa or tift uh, i use here uh, png and compression 94 or you can compress on 100 percent just 100 percent sampling sampling render sampling uh, for making a modio uh, 350 so render sampling preview 10 uh, light path there's a bounce maximum 4 minimum 0 dps 4 glossy 4 transmission 8 volume 1 uh, leave the default setting and performance the system has no CPU or graphics card so I use the CPU so ch change uh, my performance 6 4 by 6 4 when you use a uh, CPU or a graphics card you can uh, change the setting just 256 and Y256 for using graphics card go to the file menu mm, use setting go to the system you can find here the CPU and CPU two bottom just check the CPU the system has no CPU so it, the system use CPU ok it's not problem just taking a long time to render it ok this and okay I'm now going to okay it's zero and now I'm going to render this file in just only Sample ending this 10, 10, 15. Oh no, no, not 10. Just, just I'm going to share how to render and how, why uh, I used this node, the effect of the node rendering. The render has been finished. Is the render image? Just we using the sampling just ten. This first you use RGB curve, RGB curve, and check the B, B channel, blue channel, and just change. Change it. Without adding uh, RGB curve, and adding RGB curve, then you add a hue and saturation. you and saturation and change change the saturation 1.1 value point 3 and fact value point 600 and then add this mix uh, this, this is the mix and change the mode to soft light fact one to zero and see what is the this change this is the glossy direct and add a dialect erode Uh, 
deleted node feather distance to change the mode to sphere add a mix uh, then uh, mode to screen fag will point 205 and change the color in blue then just duplicate it and mode and change the mode multiply value point 200 oh this is not a uh, sorry this is not a mix color this is a math color math what is the main function the rest uh, this is the just all just this op opacity just change the opposite the main function just customize the coloring value just like a opacity opacity then add a emit add a glare change the fog glow medium and just change the setting and there's their soul 0 0.50 again add a mix 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 shader change the mode to add back value 0.30 let's connect the two node let's connect Disconnect. Disconnect. Distance. Distance. The emission in glow. Distance. The emission in glow. And you then you add a color balance. You add a color balance. Distance. Bluish, just uh, we change it, yeah, just this color, gain color, just bluish. See, let's see the, what is the main main color before adding color balance, and now adding color balance. Just blue, blue cast. So this is the and uh, this is the image after compositing. The main image. This is the main image. And this image after compositing. Okay, let's to set this. Let's go to the image and save the base image or directly go to the function F3 from your keyboard. Okay, so now go to the my main file. This is my main file. And just now for people using I'm gonna use a Kim photo editor, open source photo editor. We use here all open source software. Oh so this is the file this is the busy background image. The main 
is the many maze. The many maze. Then add the, the end point of the scene. This is the end point of the scene. This is a busy background. Uh, this is like a sky. This is a FZ foreground. Foreground teammates. This is the moon glow. How we how we add a group? Let's press F uh, paint tool. Uh, change the brush. Change the brush value. Uh, hit it again. Just like this. There's a screen mode. Turn in use in normal mode. Brush X to change the color. This is the foreground color. Color. Then moon glow. Just duplicate it. Just duplicate the moon glow. Duplicate in two times. At first uh, more to overlay. Then more to screen and down the opacity thirty two percent. As the is the main, we do nothing. Sky and add, uh, add a mission. This is the emission original image alpha? This is the alpha pass, and this is the sky. This is a busy image. This is the alpha pass. Uh, add alpha and change. This is alpha pass and we use here just a blur. Just change this to blur mode. Since the blur in ten, just use ten. Just use ten or more to screen mode. For adding a globe. Processing, so okay. Uh, we uh, for pre-processing we use the Kim uh, photo editor. So after using Kim, this is my final image. I hope. Uh, I hope this. Uh, this video will help you how to make the cartoon like scene in it is just uh, it is not just, just not like a very critical or very heavy tutorial it's like a uh, cartoon scene just for a new user or for uh, 
beginner not for uh, it's like a professional but not for uh, just uh, for kids so thanks for watching this video and you share this video subscribe my channel if you have any question about this tutorial leave your comment in the particular box so thanks god bless you see you again